My name is Lauren, if you are new here, and if not, welcome back. And I am a second year medical student. Today's Monday, happy Monday, and it is exam day. Today is my endocrine midterm, and it is my first midterm in this block, so yeah. I'm just gonna make myself coffee, and then I'm gonna go to the exam. So I'm using this one today. And I tried the Chobani one like maybe a couple vlogs ago and it was good. But this one is even better. I guess I should expect it because it's Starbucks. But this one does not have um, like an aftertaste like the Chobani one does. So this is so good. I don't even need to add chocolate syrup to this one. But I will because, you know, chocolate gal. I didn't film the past few weeks. So like welcome back to me and welcome back to you. I really have missed the vlog i explained why i didn't film the past two weeks in my last video but i'm happy to be back and i didn't film the exam week like the week leading up to the exam which i love to do because i feel like those are always really interesting when i'm like stressed and you know studying everything i had a lot of trouble focusing and like trying to motivate myself to do any work and i couldn't figure out what was wrong with me and then yesterday i just realized i'm burnt out and it's kind of crazy that I'm already burnt out after only eight weeks of medical school, like this school year. But I think just because obviously I've already been through a year of it and my burnout threshold is like timeline is kind of shorter than when I was the first year. I've started making my schedule for the week just to like eliminate stress. How long is this clipping going? How do I know that? How do I know? Oh, I see three minutes. <laughs> and I've decided on Wednesday that I'm gonna take myself on like a little solo date because I need to go to the mall to like buy some things and I just thought that would be like cute to like make a day of it. Everything will go well today, I'm hoping. But like because I was feeling burnt out and I wasn't studying like a lot this past week, I just was like, I'm basically setting myself up for failure. This is supposed to be the hardest exam of the first two years of medical school, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it, which is making me even more frustrated. So it was a rough week. More so like a rough, I guess week, but especially like the past couple days. So yesterday I just like took it easy, did practice questions, and I'm feeling like, okay. I definitely learned a lot with the practice questions. It is, wait, let me check my phone because I can do that now. <laughs> Couldn't do that without the camera. It is 8.02. This is literally a dream of mine to show you guys my phone. The exam is like, starts at nine, sort of. I'm going to go to school now and just like, sit in the room and keep studying. So I will speak to you all when I get back. I am back home from my exam. I'm just gonna open these lines. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't even describe how tired I am. Oh my gosh, I drank all that coffee that you saw me make earlier. And I think it just all like burned up in the process of me using all of my working brain cells. But I actually think that it went well, which is really nice. Well, let's, let's, let me back up. I am feeling pretty okay about it. I don't like to say things on super well because it's very easy to get like, have a false sense of security or knowledge. Sometimes you don't know so much that you don't realize how much you don't know and then you think things are going well and then you're like, oh my God, I didn't know any of this. I didn't realize I didn't know any of it. That's not the situation I'm in now, but I've definitely been in that situation before. But yeah, I think that it went well, so I'm happy to be done. It was 81 questions. I'm just like so obsessed with staring at myself in this viewfinder, not because I'm staring at myself, but just like, I'm still in so much shock that I have a camera. I think when you want something for so long and you just can kind of like one day, one day, one day. And then when it happens, you're like, oh my God. Like I just feel like a real YouTuber now. Later in the day, Vako and I are gonna go over to my boyfriend's place that he just moved into. It's so weird that I can like say boyfriend now. <laughs> cause I just like wasn't really saying anything uh, earlier. Just cause you know, you wanna take your time introducing new people. We're going to my boyfriend's place that he just moved into and like spending time over there. And it is also National Boyfriend Day, which is like not a real holiday. It's kind of like a fake Instagram holiday, but to be cute, I was going to surprise my boyfriend with food. I was gonna get Chipotle, but he just got Chipotle two days ago. So now I'm just gonna have him pick something on DoorDash because he's like ruined 
the surprise romance of it because you already got it. So that's why I'm not eating like a real meal because we're just gonna have to order food in a couple hours anyway. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I love talking like shows and music and like movies and like all of that on this channel because when you interact with me in the comments saying your opinions, I'm saying my opinions, we're going back and forth. I just love that so much. Like I love that. I just finished Only Murders in the building and it was actually really good like season one was like okay the plot was good though and season two was so good i definitely recommend it i just love a good plot twist and season two definitely had a good good plot twist that i did not see coming so i don't have a show at the moment or i didn't but last night i started abbott elementary which of course is now like award-winning i will probably watch an episode of that oh my god i keep talking so long in these clips but it's literally because i'm just like uh, i'm just like staring at this camera okay i'm gonna stop talking this whole vlog has literally just been like 10 minutes of me talking i'm so 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 sorry i'm going to leave you now I am interrupting this week's video to talk about today's sponsor, Doggly. Doggly is a wonderful company that allows you to match with your pet through accessories, whether that be scrunchies, scarves, collars, or necklaces. All of their products are sustainable, which is so important to me. And with every order that they receive, they donate to I Equals Change, which raises money for protecting wild animals and empowering women and girls in less privileged countries. All great things that I Equals Change does and all great things that Doggily then supports. So they have sent us some very exciting products. I have little, I don't know if you can see Vako. He is currently attacking the packaging because he's just so excited. We have three products here. I have not opened them yet because I wanted to do a little unboxing. I did order a scarf scrunchie set. Let's hope you can see. Yeah. The box is very, very nice. Also, the scarves are 100% silk. Again, sustainably sourced and made. Okay, so this is like a little tie. This is a little tie. This is gonna be for Vaco. I'm sure he's not only gonna want to wear it, but he's gonna want to play with this as well. This is a giant matching scrunchie. It's like very ruffly, very cute. And then the last product in the set. And let me just say, this really was wrapped with care. Is this scarf? So I'm gonna put everything on King Vaco and I, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the scrunchie in my hair. I love how big it is because I feel like you can really use it no matter how your hair is. But I definitely think I will be able to do more things with it when my hair is curly. Just because I can't really put all of these twists on the top of my head like I can when my hair is curly. And now let me show you Vako. Here we are. Look at us. We're so cute. Okay, I don't know which one we're going to go with, but this is so adorable. Thank you again, Doggily, for sponsoring this video. I do have a discount code for you. It is Lauren Nicole 20 I will put it on the screen. Don't forget to check Doggly out. I will leave the link in the description as well. And let's get back to the video. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Yesterday, I really didn't vlog, but maybe four clips. That was probably a montage. I didn't really do anything yesterday. So I had my exam on Monday, which was a midterm. And then the second half of this block, which the first half was endocrine. The first week of endocrine would be the last video that you saw. And then the next two weeks I didn't film. So endocrine was three weeks long. And then the second half of this block is the reproductive system, which is five weeks long. And then at the end of the five weeks, we're gonna have our last exam, which will be a final. And it'll be like, I guess, partially cumulative. It's gonna be awful. So I had my midterm on Monday and then reproductive was supposed to start 
the very next day on Tuesday, lectures started and everything. And <laughs> I didn't plan to take the day off because I wanted to take today, Wednesday, partially off because I wanted to go to the mall and stuff. Yeah, yesterday I didn't do anything and I went to doctoring. And then in doctoring, we took the history of an adolescent. Baco, if you broke that, Oh my God, he's trying to kill me. He just knocked over my boyfriend's housewarming present. So hopefully he didn't break it. And I think his toy's under it, I'm not gonna help him. We took the history of an adolescent for the first time, which was cool. You know, it's always good to take histories of people other than like the regular, well not regular, but the adult population, just so you learn how to tweak your history and like tweak your sensitivity skills and everything. And then after doctoring, went to the grocery store and then I like came home, lit some candles, took a nice shower because it's like cold and wet outside and it has been for the past week and it is again today, I believe. So I just feel like I have been picked up and put in Washington. I don't understand, but uh, it's just raining all day, every day now. I just like took a shower to get like really warm, put on like matching pajama sets. So I felt really put together made myself dinner and watched Abbott Elementary like it was summertime. I think I watched about four or five episodes and fell asleep on my couch for a long time. So <laughs> I just kind of like had a me day yesterday for the most part, which was really nice and very much needed. And I feel more ready to start reproductive today. Let's get started. I am tweaking my study method again. Just slightly, I feel like you always have to be kind of tweaking it unless you're getting 100% on every exam. Oh, and my endocrine exam, I got the score back yesterday and it went well, so great. In endocrine, my study method changed to skipping lecture and going straight to Anki, doing the Anki cards, and then I would watch ScholarX videos if I didn't understand the topic. And I also watched Sketchy uh, for the pharmacology stuff. And that was cool, but the only thing was like, every now and then there would be like a drug, for example, that would pop up in SGD, like our small group discussion classes for case studies that I had never heard of in my life because it wasn't in the sketchy and I didn't watch the farm lecture. So I realized just to like kind of get anything that slips between the cracks, I still need to like look at lecture, which I planned on doing last vlog, but I just kind of like didn't. So I looked at a couple lectures the day before the exam that I felt like I didn't fully get. And also when you're doing Anki first, you're getting like your information kind of piecemeal. So sometimes like the Anki cards might be out of order or whatever, and you're not getting the information in order. But then when you actually read through the lecture, you see it like in story form, if that makes sense. Instead of just like a paragraph here, a page here, and like then eventually maybe in class you realize, oh, that's how that all fits together. I'm gonna start off no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to start off by reading through the lectures first. I'm not going to watch them because I just can't anymore. I can't do that to myself anymore. I'm just going to read through the lectures very quickly, just like a nice skimming, but still try to like understand what they're generally about. And then I will jump to Anki. The first lecture is on like statistic stuff. So, okay. And then we move into structure and cell biology of the male reproductive system, biochemistry of hormones relevant to the male reproductive system, and then some pathology stuff for the male genital system. Let's just dive into this. I'll get a study clip because I literally have filmed nothing this week aside from me just chatting my life away. I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught, yeah I'ma take my chance till I drop, mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about Growing you Growing no dud, I'm not thinking Me and you, I guess it's over feeling. Was a rainbow, but we sinking Lost yeah. my I come running back when our hearts get back on track when the stars line up that's that i've been attached just looking out we move so fast was moving south my secret sauce move in and out miss how you gloss that pretty mouth you know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I Close that, love 
love it when you toss it back Love it when you talk back Girl, you get me off track So off white track soon Just so I can floss, yeah With my new bitty sheen Let my soft Sorry, the lighting is kind of crazy Happy Thursday I just pulled up to school I have to run in right now I have class from 9 to 12 And then I'll just talk about the rest of my day later But this is my first day bringing my camera to school Which is exciting Just for this, for this. Oh, snap Now you're getting time out Cause you hit it where my heart set Got me going deeper than Amari when that ball snap Heard you sold your soul on Macari, got your call lacking. Wow. Now I'm next door at the party while you jaw jack. You know it's I'm literally out in the public with this camera and it's actually pretty bold of me. We're out of class. We only had one class today and I thought we were supposed to have it till 12, so it's pretty early. It is 11 and we have our exam review at 12. So we have like one hour and Daphne is here eating a chocolate croissant from Starbucks. And we're gonna just start working on our step study plan. like. How to start studying before a dedicated period like how to just begin gradually slowly and hopefully we make a lot of progress in the rarest in the raw fashion still trying to figure how this all happened huh you know this same the time for the two of us who i ain't got space to be thinking about you you know this same the time for the two of us who i Good morning, happy Saturday. I have just pulled up to school because I'm actually here to do some community service through my org. Let's go. No, this ain't the time for the two of us. Oh, I ain't got space uh -uh. to be thinking about you. You know this ain't. I set up my car mount for the camera. Wow, funny story. The reason I was bought this camera by my beautiful boyfriend is he heard me say in a video, I had my camera like on the mount or whatever, like of my other car, I can't do that in this car now. And he heard me say, I really wanted a mount, but I didn't want to buy a mount until I got a camera. And that's how he first got the idea. So me setting up my car mount is like a little meaningful. I don't know. Now we're gonna take a drive. Ah! No, I'm just, I'm literally just going home from community service. What is that sound? Oh my God, my window is down. The time for the two of us, oh, I ain't got space uh -uh. to be thinking about you. 